Ah, all right. Man, that was a long hike up the mountain to get here. Ah, time to see Phantom for his birthday. Um, hey, Split! Twitch! Uh, Snip? Phantom! Where is everyone? Uh, oh, hello there, my dear. Ah! Oh, uh, Wendell, you actually spooked me for once! <laughs> what brings you here? Oh, just, uh, came to come see Phantom, you know, since it's his birthday and all. I know oh. it came very early, but... Had to get up the mountain, so... That's fair. I'm actually setting up for it right now, but, uh... He doesn't want to be around us right now for some reason. I don't understand why. Oh? Well, he doesn't. But it's his birthday. I know it's quite early, but... You know, he'll wake up eventually with coffee and stuff, so... Hmm. I don't know, dude. That's the thing. He told us to not not see him. He just wants to be alone. I don't quite understand. That's weird. Uh, well, where is he exactly? He's up in the tower. He doesn't want to be bothered. Oh, up there? Up there? But there's no light or anything up there. Uh. Exactly. And I then that would make me assume he's not reading books. Uh. Well... You know what, I'll, I'll go check on him, how about that? You, you can continue setting up if you want, so... Very well. Alright, thanks, Gwendol, nice seeing you. Nice seeing you too, Sarah. Alright, time to go check up on Phantom. Hopefully he's okay. Alright, let's see if he's up here in the tower. <laughs> Phantom! Go away. Oh. Phantom? It's me, Sarah. Oh. Sorry. I just... Uh... Sorry about that, Sarah. Didn't mean to say that. It's okay. Um, what are you doing up here in the tower? Just needing some time to myself. The others keep insisting that I would have a party, but today's hmm. not one of those days I feel like having. I mean, it is your birthday, though. Yes, but you know what else happened on my Hmm. I'm trying to remember. Uh. Oh. Yes. Today is not only. I don't want it to only just be about me. I want it to be also about them as well. My mother and father. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. Today is the day of their anniversary of their death. The anniversary of their deaths. Hmm. No wonder you're not in a good mood. Hmm. The others keep insisting oh. and keep pestering me about it. I just want to be left alone in the shadows. Just for a bit. I see. Uh, yeah, Gwendo did say he was working on setting up a party, and I'm pretty sure Twitch is all on that, too. You know, and him I've and his already parties. said no to them plenty of times, but they always insist. Mm, and you know, Gwendo, he's up this early at 5 a.m., as he usually is. Get ready for the day. Yes. And I'm assuming you're up this early just to stop it? Yes. Well, did you tell him what you wanted to do today? I did. Hmm. There... Huh. Well, maybe I can tell them to not bother with it. You know, if there's something else you want to do, you know, maybe you and I could go out or just chill up here. What would you like to do? I would like to go and visit my parents' grave. Oh. 
I mean, that makes sense. Are you sure it's okay to go to France, though? Because what if we run into you-know-who? If we do, I will deal with them personally. Hmm. Wouldn't want it to be some big event on your birthday, though, but... I'm, I'm... I'm sure that, you know, that would be the best idea, if that's what you want to do. I can, I can tell Gwendol to stop the party planning. It's much preferred if he stops the party. Alright. And would you like me to come with you, or would you like to go alone? I would prefer company. Hmm. I will do that, Phantom. I'm always going to be here for you. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. Let me go down there and tell him, and I'll come back up here and, you know, grab you, and we can go. All right. I'll be preparing. All right. Just don't ex exert your energy. I, I got portal rings. All right. Be right back. I dread this. Alright, I'm gonna go get a phantom. Oh. Let's get this over with. Oh, oh you're coming down? Alrighty. Yes. You sure you're ready for this? I just want to get this done. Alright. Alright, I got a portal ring. Uh, let me throw it in a little bit more open space. I think outside would do. Yeah, that's true. Let's go this way. Oh, here, let's go down this way. I actually never seen your parents' graves before. This will be a first. Yes. It will. Alright. Let's do it over here. Seems like a perfect All right. spot. France, 1800s, let's, let's do this. <laughs> Uh, oof, that was a bit of a bumpy landing. Uh, ah, good, right place. This is the place, right? Yes. This should All be right, the place. Alright, I got it. Alright. Right around oh. over here. Hmm. Nice and peaceful here. Yes. Hmm. Is this your dad's right here? Oh. Yes. Um, I forgot to bring flowers. Oh. We can maybe pick up some a little bit later and bring them back. It's still pretty early in the day. Yeah. Yeah, I think the flower shops open up at like 10, 10 a.m. So. Hmm. Which one of these are your mother's? My mother is over there. My father there? is right here. Mm. Yeah. Well, it's a very nice uh, graveyard, at least. We're in a good place. Sometimes I wish I could have met her. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Oh, m met her? My mother. 
I never got to meet her. Oh, that's right. Ever since I was born, she died. Mm. My father used to tell me stories about her. She oh, had a yeah. wonderful singing voice. Him and her would dance the night away and dreamed about having life together beyond the theater. Hmm. That's really sweet, honestly. Yes. Hmm. But, hmm. unfortunately, that's never to come. I'm sure she was a very good woman. Would have been someone really nice to meet, honestly, from what you've told me before. Yes. My father, though, he may have not been there much. The moments I had with him, though. Hmm. Much to cherish. Four years of my life. What were some of the best memories? When he would take me to the bookstore and he would read out the stories to me, act them out. Aww. I remember when we went fishing. I even remember when he was teaching me his many lessons of acting. He was a talented man. Mm. You said he was the most famous actor uh, of this time. Yes. Huh. One of the best. I always dreamed about going to the theater when I was younger. And then when I finally did, it was the worst day of my life. I was like a child in a candy store, amazed by everything that I saw. Amazed by the lights, the crowd of people, and all the costumes and scripts that were written. Mm. And then that day happened. Where he died. Thanks to a mm. bastard. Sometimes I wonder if it was like, if I wasn't weak. Anthony, you're not weak. I'm the slightest. You're only a child. Was it so weak? Just a child. A child that got his father killed. I watched when he died. I couldn't do nothing. 
Nothing! I watched as my father died right in front of me and I was helpless. Useless child. If it wasn't for that, he would have probably still been alive. And then he didn't do what he did. All because of me. My mother probably would have still been alive. It wasn't for me. Oh, damn. Then none of that was your fault. All of it is my fault. You just being born was a mistake. Don't let him. Don't let him look at me. Okay, look at me. I know this dark form can get out of hand, so just look at me, okay? None of this was your fault. None of it. Even if it seems like it, it wasn't. Don't let Anthony get in your mind. That's what he wants. All he wants. To break you down, but you can't let him get to you. This is France, 1800. Sadly, the doctors didn't have the right equipment. And sometimes things happen. But that was not your fault. And I'm sure your mom and maybe even your dad knew this could have happened, but they still had you because they loved you and wanted you. They wanted a child. They wanted a family. That's what you told me before, right? That your dad said that that's what they really wanted? Yes. And despite the risk, they, they still went through with it. So don't blame yourself. I'm sure that they wouldn't be mad at you for not being able to do anything because like you were a child. No one no one expected what had happened at the theater that day. Not even the director. No one could Just... do anything. Anthony should have been dead by now. I... No. We will get him someday. I promise. I promise. It might be hard, but one day, justice will be brought upon him. I promise that. I know we can't rewrite the past, but we can always look forward you know, to the future. And I'm sure your mom and dad want you to be happy. Not to blame yourself for their death. They would want you to live life to the fullest like they tried to do. You're right. Never. Hmm. They would want you to remember and cherish the moments you had. The memories and stories and everything. Don't let Anthony take that away from you. Don't forget, Phantom. You're also continuing your dad's legacy for your acting career. I'm sure he would be very proud of you. It's like I am. Thank you for coming along with me, Sarah. Of course. I knew this would have been hard on you, and you maybe need someone with you. <sighs> you okay? Yeah. I'm feeling the dark foam get off, so... Mm. Trust me, you don't want to go into your specter form. You will be uncontrollable even for me. Yes. 
Here we go. Just deep breaths, all right? Gonna be all right. Let's go get some flowers. I think right. I know what I want to do with the rest of my day. All right. We can do that. Here, I have a portal ring. We can go to the flower shop directly. Sounds good to me. All right. All right. That was a good day out. Yo, stop, yes. guys! Oh, uh, hey, Snip. How's oh, it going? Snip. Yeah. So, how are you two guys' day been? Been, been... pretty good. All right. For the most part. Yeah. Mm. We just had a nice day out. Well, I needed one. I see now. So, uh, well, first of all, happy birthday, Phantom. Thank you. And second of all, a little birdie told me that you two guys were together officially. Uh... And who told you this said information? Well, who better be a snitch than Twitch? Uh... Before we carry on with the conversation, and, and you know, the usual thing you do... Yes, you already know, I don't care. We're gonna put the warnings out. It yes, doesn't matter. Yes. The warnings. You oh, wait no. to give her that conversation when I come back. So where's Twitch at the moment? He's up in his room. You know, chilling like usual. All right, thank you. Twitch, we need to have a conversation. Oh, oh no. And there he goes. He's in trouble. <laughs> Big time trouble. Oh shit! 